So today we're making a smoker. It's gonna be a vertical drum style smoker. I'm gonna make it out of scrap materials. I picked up a used food grade drum. I've got this old trailer that I'm gonna cut up to use the angle iron off of that to make a base for our smoker. I'm gonna put the smoker on wheels. I've got some old lawnmower wheels I'm gonna use and I've got some expanded sheet grating that I'm gonna put in here as well. Along with some rebar and some other spare metal I've got laying around and together we're gonna to make this pretty cool little smoker here. All right, we've got our little cart disassembled here for the most part. We've got what I need off of it, I believe. Here's our little drum. Here are our pieces. I'm going to start making a frame here for the bottom. It will go underneath and support our wheels right here. With some measurements in mind, we're using the bandsaw to chop up this angle. And then I'm coming over to the bench and using the vise to clean this angle iron up. I've got a wire brush. Because we're upcycling, there's some rust on this angle, and I'm going to clean that off of here. And I'm starting out by making the frame for the very bottom of the smoker. I will ultimately end up putting wheels on this, as well as the barrel will sit on top of this frame. And now with the frame tacked together, I'm making some, I'm drilling some holes in the sides on the one end for my axle to go through for my wheels. And I'm just going to use a half inch round bar for my axle. Luckily, the wheels I've got fit that half inch perfectly. And now with the wheels on, I'm gonna make this thing level and put some legs on the other end so this thing will sit nice and level. And now with the level cart, I'm gonna go ahead and stick the barrel on there and get this thing situated where I want and weld that thing in as well. Now I'm getting creative here. I'm using some connecting rods from an old engine to make a handle on the one end of our smoker so that I can tote the thing around and move it around a little bit. I did ultimately uh, kind of regret the ergonomics of this because I got the barrel on the wrong end of where the wheels are. The wheels are set off away from the barrel, uh, which makes it, when you lift it up to push it around, makes it heavier. Kind of figured that this would be the end result, but I because I'm using these plastic wheels and uh, this is the first time I've made a smoker I wasn't sure how hot the smoker was going to get I wanted to make sure that it didn't melt the wheels when I was running the smoker so I moved the wheels pretty far away from the smoker just to be safe and ultimately I would do this thing differently I'd either make or utilize some metal wheels or um, I might take the risk of having the wheels closer because this smoker really doesn't get that hot now that I've used it and now we're making some supports to put a little table on the one side with the wheels on there. It extends out like that. And we have a table that comes up on the one side. So you have something to sit plates and that sort of thing on as you're doing your smoking. All right, so at this point, we've got the wheels. We've got the side piece on it. We've got our little handle on the front, a fancy handle. And now I've got to go ahead and put a little table on the side here, I'm just going to tack this guy in all the way around. All right, now we've got some expanded sheet cut out and some matching. This is like 14 gauge sheet here. So I'm going to make, I'm going to make a little box. This will be my sort of wood box, coal box thing for the bottom. I'm also making up a little box to hold the coal. So I'm going to use some of the expanded sheet for my grate on the bottom of the box. I'm going to use four inches tall. And then ultimately I'm gonna have a quarter inch rod that I'm gonna use for a handle on this. So I can lift it in and out of the bottom of the smoker. This thing goes inside the smoker in the bottom and holds all the little coals to create the smoke and the magic. And then I want to vent on the bottom of the smoker to allow air to flow in through my little coal box down in the bottom. In order to do that, I'm using a three inch hole saw. And then ultimately I'm going to make a, I'm going to make a little adjustable cover to go over this hole. And that's how we're going to regulate our airflow into this barrel. I've also got a scrap piece of gearing off of a 
snowmobile, I believe. And this is, I'm using, I'm cutting this thing up to make a handle for the top of our smoker, as well as a little hook on the side of the top of the smoker so that I can hang the lid on the side of the smoker when I'm cooking, just to get it out of the way. All right, so here it is so far. We've got a nice little handle. We've got another handle on top here. We've got underneath here, another little thing to hang it. Like that, we've got our basket inside. We've got our adjustable vent hole down here in the bottom. So that can be adjusted. And we've got our little table on the side here. And to get this fire hot enough, I ended up using a vacuum cleaner, like a shop vac, setting the hose on the vacuum up so that it blows the air out and then blowing it in. And I taped the end of the hose into a piece of metal pipe and ran that pipe into our little vent on the bottom of the smoker and just pumped air into there like a furnace. And I got this thing real hot so the paint would burn off on the inside and the outside. All right, so here is our smoker so far. Got a little table, a little handle. The lid is somewhere else, but right now I'm going to put the, so this is store-bought grill, this Weber 22 inch, or this is actually technically 21 and a half, what this is, but it's made for a 22 inch grill. And it fits in here, like, perfectly. See how there's, I got about half an inch gap on either side of this thing. So, pretty awesome. Cause then I can always buy a replacement grill here or if I want a different style grill, easy to buy. So now we gotta cut out some brackets for that grill um, so that we can set it in here to make the little ledges on the sides, little brackets for it to sit on. So for my brackets, I'm gonna do this. I've got some angle here, same stuff we use to make the actual cart. So it's about an inch and an eighth angle, which should work. And so I'm gonna cut pieces off of that. We'll try it up a little first. I'm gonna cut maybe like half inch wide pieces and we'll just weld those on. All right, so I've cut out four of these little pieces of angle. I'm gonna go ahead and stick them down in here. Just below this first, there's this little crease here on the barrel, just below that guy. I'm gonna weld those in, tack them in first and then we'll see how this fits in here. All right, I got my tabs in here, right in here. I'm gonna test this out. Make sure this works. Looks like that might work, dude. All right, next I got some rebar here. This is like half inch rebar. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. Cut two pieces of this that will cross over here for our, so we can hang this out. All right, so I'm drilling the holes here. I'm using a uh, hole saw. This guy over here is like this is a one inch one inch diameter hole saw. I basically just found my center here on either side and then spaced out from there four inches and down one inch from the top. And that's what I'm doing because this that should give me plenty of space there and do what we want to do. Where it's going to vent some of the, these are basically going to be our vents for the smoke coming out the top. And they're also going to be, they're going to serve as little holes for these guys to reside in. Okay, holes are drilled now. In theory, we've got an almost complete, well, functionally complete grill or smoker here. Let's see how it works. All right, check that out. Looks good. Looks about what I pictured I wanted. So now I need to make some little hooks to hang meat from on here. I should have some quarter inch rod around here. Here's our little hooks to hang like chickens and whatnot, whole chickens in there. We'll see how well those work. I might have to change the dimensions and make a different one at some point. I'm just kind of guessing how this will work. We'll have to try it out and see.
All right, we're painted up. Now I'm going to put a little bit of grease on these guys here. Smoker's done. All right, we got the smoker going. Got some chicken in there. It's looking pretty good. You can even touch this top handle. It's not hot. And the chicken, this is yeah. the best way to cook chicken that I have yeah, found in my entire life so far. I highly recommend yeah, it. Yeah, man. Looking good, some potatoes in there, sweet potatoes. And temperature's going pretty good, about 250, a little over 250. Very pleased with how this smoker performs. I'm looking forward now to getting some ribs and doing some other meat on this thing and seeing how tasty we can get.